Hello, talented souls. Happy day. Happy week. Happy life. Hope you're doing amazing. If you're new, if you're back, remember, I focus on igniting your talent for you to ignite the world. Okay, we are going to change the world, all of us. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for the comments. I love that you love the intros. I mean, I must say, I am, uh, let's say, inspired to do more and more. And today I find this spot. What do you think? It's gorgeous, no? It's a gorgeous morning. I am with my dog. Hey, let's see. Hola. Hey, hola. <laughs> And there was a swan before, but uh, she left. Anyway, today, both, the, I mean, you suggested the topics. I love it. I have topics just for the whole year, I think, if I want. There was a tie, of course. I predicted the tie. There was a tie. <laughs> exact amount of both. Do you know how many? 17 each. Star cars. Those two topics are going to go live for sure. But today I choose one. Of course, I have to make a decision. And is suggested by Angel. Angel, you are an angel. And is, what is your soul highest wish for you right now? What a beautiful question, okay? I'm thinking this is going to be so healing, so inspiring. Healing and inspiring, that's the key word that I'm feeling, okay? And uh, of course, I will show you the piles after this intro. And uh, I want you to take a moment to thank for thank the universe and i'm going to finish that it thank the universe for just let you be who you are see you in a minute thank you <laughs> i was not going to leave you with all the swans because that's an a couple wow see you in a minute Hello, talented souls. Okay, hope you like that intro. Mm? Okay. Chan, 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 chan. I cannot wait. <laughs> okay, here are the piles to answer the question. What is your soul highest wishes for you right now? Okay, I hope I put the order in the right, in the right way. What is your soul highest wishes for you right now yes <laughs> angel thank you for the thank you for the question okay and if you skip the other intro hi i'm luna and i focus on igniting your talent for you to ignite the world mean do what you love the tarots okay the piles pile number one is all yellow citrine citrine everywhere except this one that is a quartz a healing quartz and this one is uh no, this one is citrine as well. This is gorgeous. You know, citrine is gorgeous. And this is a lemon that is a sculpture. It's not a real lemon. Okay? If life throws you lemons, do lemonade. If you haven't seen that video that I have before. Okay, citrine number one. This is a pointy citrine, like, a, you know, like, a, yeah, pointy citrine. Okay, here are your oracle cards. And your tarot deck is the good karma tarot deck. And I show you one, so you take an idea about the, you know, the design. This is the two of coins. It's very playful deck. It's a very playful deck. Well, all of these are a little bit playful, to be honest. Then option number two is this uh, piece of citrine. Very pretty. Okay, very pretty. This is a present. Someone gave it to me. I like gift. And the tarot is the kitten. No, this is the playful heart tarot. Oh, my God. Yeah, it's all very playful. Look at the co look at the design. It's gorgeous. Six of cups. Look at that. <laughs> it's all about kittens. Okay. And some are not kittens, but it's all about kittens. Beautiful. Look at the unicorn there. Oh, that's so cute. They're all very cute. Okay. Option number three, uh, three yes, is the angel citrine. Okay. Angel. And your tarot deck is this one, is the Wisdom Seekers Tarot. The tower. Look at that. Wow. This is the universe intervening on something, on behalf of you. 
<laughs> the tower for me is when you want something, you know, and it's not happening, and it's not happening, the universe make it happen. <laughs> okay, option number four is this rosy dream. It's gorgeous. It's very, I like it. It's very shiny. Although, and there are some quartz there, but I don't know if you can see. Okay, that's option number four. And this new tarot deck, which is the Lioness Oracle Tarot. And I'll show you one. This is gorgeous. Eight of Cups. Look at the Eight of Cups. Oh, this is very cool. Very cosmical. Okay, a lot of change. As I said at the intro, I have a feeling, two feelings, healing and inspiration. Those two things. Okay, I cannot wait. Thank you so much. Choose your pile. Take all the time that you want. Okay, you can choose also two. You can choose one now and one later on. Okay. Um, yeah, do, I mean, I have the feeling some of you, you know, watch all the pies. It's so cute. Okay, thank you so much. See you in a minute. Thank you. Hello, talented souls. If you have chosen pile number one and this gorgeous citrine um, obelisk, this reminds me of the obelisk in Buenos Aires. It has this shape. It's a very popular shape. Okay. Wow. You have big ambitions. That's what I'm going to say. You want to hit the top of your... Um, you want to make sure that your talent uh, reach the highest expression. For me, this reminds me of the obelisk. The obelisk is one of the most uh, well-known monuments in Argentina. So that means that you want to make your, your mark in the world. You want to make your mark in the world. You want to be remembered. Okay, that's the energy of you. You want to be remembered. Remember for the good and the bad as well, because this is a citrine that comes like... Uh, you know, comes really wide here and then becomes clear and clear and clear. You know that there is a path. You know that there is a path to go. You know what I mean? You know that it's never all clear, okay? There are obstacles. There are things uh, that are going to happen. But at the end, you will be as clear and as happy as you dream. Wow. A lot of information without knowing that is coming. That's gorgeous. Okay. What is your soul? So your soul want to tell you right now that you're going to get there. Simple. You're going to get, you're going to make a mark. The highest wish that your soul has for you is that you make a mark in the world. That's the, that's the gift sentence. You are going to make a mark in the world. Your mark. Okay? Like you're going to be remembered for something. That's your tarot deck. Okay. This is advice for the end. And this is what is the highest, what is your soul highest wishes for you right now? Highest wishes. Okay, number one. Ooh, you need to learn something. You need to learn something to get here. To get to the top. Definitely is in the books. Meaning uh, education. Literally. You connect to your life purpose through your involvement with books. There is something that you are learning that is key to get in to the top. Right now. Or within this year. There is something, because we're talking about right now. There is something that you are studying right now, or you are planning to study, or you are planning to explore. Uh, and get more information about it, not necessarily formal education. It could be also you really researching about the specific topic. Literally going to, I see some of you going to the library uh, and, uh, you know, absorbing a lot of information there. Literally, I see some of you doing that. Others, you know, it's all online, all internet, uh, audiobooks, books, uh, uh, podcasts, etc., etc. Uh, you are reaching some kind of information towards this, this dream, Okay, and your soul is saying, yes, my highest wishes is that you keep doing that and you keep researching. The key, the key word I see, I, mean, I hear a lot of research, okay? 
because you have a knowledge, but it seems to me that in these books, in some of these books, in some of this research, in some of these educational programs or podcasts or, you know, masterclass, etc., you're going to find some words that are going to be key to unlock uh, something important as an as a action towards this dream. Okay, very interesting. Okay. Sad embrace. Oh, wow. This is very interesting. Number 45. Yeah. Okay. I'm getting with this one is that your soul, uh, your uh, soul, a uh, high, perp- uh, high uh, wish for you is for you to embrace the change. For you to embrace change. There is something here uh, for, I mean, something was solid and then it changed. You have lost a solid foundation on something. Maybe you have lost someone. Maybe you have lost um, a, a job in some cases. A someone, I'm getting a lot of, you know, change in terms of someone. You know, people living your life. I'm getting that kind of, uh, oh, that's chocolate. That kind of feeling, no? So something was solid with the four and then the five is a change. Sad embrace. Okay. Your soul is telling you, I understand that you are in a moment of, uh, let's say, uh, more, uh, more, uh, what say? Yeah. Uh, mourning for some lost. Okay. And also, let me tell you what I'm getting. I'm getting that some of you, some of you, the purpose of your soul or your soul want you to embrace, embrace the pain of not you, others. It's like you are going to help with your education, with your research, with your ideas. You're going to help to heal people that have lost something. Yes, I have seen this before in some of my readings. Of course, I have a subscriber uh, that keeps, uh, you know, growing and growing, no? But uh, this is about... I'm getting helping people that have lost something. I'm getting loss of home, loss of people, loss of something. Uh, I mean, I, th- I think it's emotional. No, no, not so much material. I'm feeling that you, your research is going to help to, to, you know, to heal people that have lost on the emotional side, like a psychologist, like a, like a counseling, but also some, some things around any kind of healing. Yeah. And there is your soul has wish is that you right now focus on learning as much as you can. There are some clues in the in this learning to help this. But these are people that have lost something. Cut the course. Oh wow. This is what you do for others, eh? You help them to cut the course. You help them to heal. Because she's dressed in green, you know, and green is the healing color. Green is the color, and this is purple. Look at this, your connection with the spirit, okay? You connect, you, your connection with the divine and your ability to heal others. Oh, oh my God, this is very clear. Your highest, that's why you want to make a mark in the world. Because you remember, you may, you, I'm thinking in this woman, oh my God, I forgot. I think it's Susan. Susan, uh, okay, I cannot remember the sounding. She is focused on, uh, yes, on uh, embracing emotions, okay? Her main her main uh, concept, or her main, I, I saw her on a TED Talk that is very popular. Okay, I'm, I'm, I will need to stop the video because I need to know what's her name. One second. Yeah, I found it. It's Susan David, okay? Susan uh, David is uh, the gift and power of emotional courage. That's the tech talk. The gift and power of emotional uh, courage. Okay. This is what you do for others. This is how you're going to make a mark in the world. Helping others. Okay. To cut the core with the sad, uh, with the sadness, to cut the core with the lost. I'm getting a lot of lost, but it could be any radical change, emotional change. You're going to help others. You are the healer. Okay, but your 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 uh, help. Um, this is kind of you know a little bit specific. But your help it has to do a lot 
with um, psychology, counseling. I mean, you made a lot of you or a planning uh, go in the direction of this kind of education. And even if you have not studied psychology, for example, you will do a PhD in psychology. You see what I mean? There is something in what you research, you know, maybe some of you are doing a PhD as well. Okay. You're explorers cl clearly about emotional uh, suffering. You help them to cut the cord with the suffering. How, from your heart, from your healing abilities, from the fact that you understand your connection with the divine, you understand the connection with the healing source of all. Wow. You are going to make your mark in the world. You know there is stuff, no? Because this is dark. I mean, for me, this is a citrine that this is cloudy at the bottom and clear at the top. You will reach the top. And you also do that for others. Eh? You heal them. How you will make the mark is in your research, in your studies, in your in how you communicate, in your practices. Some of you are going to establish, a, a, let's say, a, you know, let's say, the psychoanalysis, no? Hmm? Some of you, let me tell you, are going to establish the new psychoanalysis. New ways of heal people. Okay, let's be realistic. Psychoanalysis has, is a very old-fashioned. It's very popular in Argentina. I'm seeing a lot in Argentina. Psychoanalysis, apparently in Argentina, we have one psychologist for every 10 people. <laughs> we love psychology. I study psychology as well. I'm a psychologist. Okay? The point is, you're going to create a new, uh, let's say, cognitive therapy. A new therapy. Yeah, a new way of treating this. But I'm getting that this is very professional. This is very much... Uh, in the books, you know what I mean? It's like a, a proper research, okay? Okay, strength, wow. This is this is an, a tarot deck, but I put only one card for each pile because I saw, okay, this is kind of, you know, a very difficult tarot deck from my, in, my, in, my, in my books <laughs> to kind of do a normal spread because the images are all angels and I don't know all the angels, okay? I have to confess. Okay, anyway, a strength. This is a strength card. Loyalty, delivery from those who seek to oppress brings victory. Yeah, you're going to help others. Look, this is an angel being helped by three angels. The racing God. Number 16 is a tower. Is this. The radical change. You know, what an interesting combination here. We have a, a, a angel tarot deck, okay, where the strength card, the strength card is number 16. The racing God. And for me, I told you, <coughs> sorry, four was a something solid and five is a radical change. I feel that because this person is feeling like a defeated. So you are going to help raise them. You're going to help them. You have the strength, the heart, the connection with the source to do that. You are the raising God. You're going to create a new way of treating uh, psychological problems or, psych or, psych or healing others. I mean, it could be a combination, eh? Don't get me wrong. It could be Feng Shui. I don't know. Feng Shui. I'm saying Feng Shui. Like, I don't know. It came to my mind. Feng Shui, Reiki. I don't know. It could be a mix. But definitely something research. Something scientific. It's like you're creating a new thing. I hope you... Oh, my freaking goodness. My God. Angel therapy. Yes. I'm telling you. I'm telling you, you are my pile of the, of the, you know, the psychology, the therapy, the people that does therapy. Susan Davy, you have to follow her. Archangel Raphael, the, the green dress, the green dress, Raphael, the heart, the strength, the strength card. Let, let me tell you, I get good response right now, you know. There is one of my tarot decks, I don't know if you follow my channel, but there is a tarot deck, it's Akashi Records tarot deck, okay. The number eight card is Archangel Raphael. The strength card. In this case, 16, because you're helping the most wounded people. The wounded people. But the people that lost emotionally. It's no material loss. It's emotional loss. And you are the angel therapy. Wow. Give your cares and worries to us, angel, and allow us to take your burdens. Yeah. You are help. You are going to be help. Here is an angel being helped by others. You are going to be help, sustained, guided. Your soul, what your soul highest wish for you is for you to embrace this journey. Okay? This is your purpose. This is what you came to this lifetime 
to create a new way of treating emotional pain. Susan Davy talks about emotional courage as a concept. I mean, you are going to create another concept, like emotional courage. Maybe you you we are going to create something. I don't know the words, okay? But you know this. You know this, okay? Maybe it's a combination of things, Western, uh, Western with Eastern. You see. Um, it could be anything, but the main thing is that you have two times the closest of Archangel Raphael. You have the keyword therapy, you have the people that have lost, you have the 16, which is a strength card under the, 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 under the 16, which is the tower and you helping others and cutting the course is clear indication when, when there is a, an attachment to a pain, we need to cut. Wow. Oh, you already shuffled these ones. This is so clear. That's your soul purpose. And um, you're going to make a mark. That's what your soul wish for you. Okay? Okay. Let's put a few more cards for you. Wow, this is so beautiful. What is your soul highest wish for you right now? This is happening right now. Some of you are in the early career. Some of you are already late in the career. Two of Cups. Look at that. Amazing. This is your partnership with your soul. You and your soul are in alignment. Full alignment. Full. Meaning that your mind, your body, and your soul are truly connected. Like this. You don't need this reading. You are on track. But... <laughs> You love, I mean, I love to listen to tarot readers. Of course, it's so nice. The devil, look at that. The devil under the under the 16. You break people free. You break people free from the pain. This cut the course, the devil and the sudden embrace, and this about the, the strength card. You are helping others to live even, you know, emotional loss, Whatever is the reason, but it's an emotional loss. Some people can lost themselves in drugs, in addictions. You know what I mean? Yeah, look at that. Ten of swords. Yeah, you help them to end this. You have a lot of power. You have a lot of power. You know, this is a 15 and this is a 16. You, you get them there. Ten of swords is like you help them to understand that those are the lessons that they will carry forward them into a better path. Because this woman is happy that she learned all these lessons. For me, this is a woman that is happy. This is a woman that is not scared. Look at the face. I don't freaking care about you looking at me. I'm going to break free. I am free. That's what you're going to teach others. Four of Cups. Yeah, this is the people that lost. Four of Cups. Listen, Four of Cups, this is you offering help to others. You know what I mean? under the embrace you're going to help others to let's say well to heal okay therapy heal from very very strong situations addictions a uh, loss of emotional loss all of those kind of things people that are lost also some of you are going to help the youngest generation for me this four of cups remind me you know this new generation i was hearing to simon sinek literally before this reading and he was saying that we have a very big problem with the youth that is coming into this world. Like they change jobs every two months or they change jobs every one year. Why? Because they don't find, they don't find, a, they don't stick because they, they're never satisfied. You know what I mean? We, we are, I mean, the new generations, and I'm very worried because obviously I have kids, you know, the new generations look for immediate satisfaction of things. Okay, and they don't understand that things happen. You need to put the effort, the time, etc. So it's it's no, it's no about uh, switching, switching, switching all the time. No. So I'm getting some of you are going to focus on more like these kind of uh, situations where the kids had lost their purpose or the younger generation have lost their purpose. I have to say that because that's important. Nine of Swords, yes. Mental illness. Cut the cord with the mental illness. This is keep coming and coming. You are the ten of swords. Look, under the books, you're researching to find, the, let's say, the therapy that is the best. A strength with the devil is 15 and 16, you being the strength. 
to get out of that. Sad embrace with this young person here, not accepting the other cup, is about being uh, overwhelmed by the feeling that, you know, whatever is the feeling, that is not, you're not, this person is not happy, the people is not happy. Nine of Swords and the Cut the Course, cut, 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 to get it to the Ten of Swords. And the last one, six of oh yeah, this is beautiful, to find balance, balance in life. Well, let me tell you what, because I'm getting this, Susan Davis, etc. A lot of you are going to help. Yes, exactly that. People that have lost the, the, the purpose. Look at that. Some of you are, I mean, obviously it's a general reader and have a lot of subscribers. Uh, it could be anything, but you're helping them, you know, to, to re regain the balance. Look at how happy that is. It's a balance. Your style of therapy or the thing that you're going to create, the therapy that you're going to create, I think is connected uh, in a lot of you, not all of you, to a way of using community, a way of using uh, common resources, a way of using friendship, a way of using, let's say, um, a identity, community identity, like, uh, um, you know, uh, people with similar situations coming together where they help each other, you know, by themselves, you know, rather than you having to get, let's say, grab the hand. It's not traditional psychology, you know what I mean? One-to-one -one or, 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 well, more more like, a, you know, um, alcoholicos, uh, I mean, how do you say, it's AA, I mean, like a group therapy, no? That's what I'm getting as well, some of you. Okay, I don't know, I'm not going to go into the specific detail of the therapy, but regardless, your soul high wishes is for you to keep going in this direction, because you're going to reach the top. Your idea, because this is a lot of research and education, is going to make a mark. Okay. And three cards for final advice. Cinderella. Oh. <laughs> Cinderella. Oh, look at You are a Cinderella. <laughs> oh, this is like your soul telling you you are gorgeous. I mean, I'm getting just happy vibes there. You know what I mean? Explore through abundance. Yes, community therapy. Look at this. Creating a better place for everyone. And these are the six of coins. And these flowers look like the six of coins. True abundance. You're going to help others to create true abundance in, in this kind of, you know, form of healing center or healing therapies. Yeah, a lot of you are going to create healing, healing centers. Eh? Cinderella, wow, this is about being, oh, this is a message. You are the only one that can get here. You are the only one. Cinderella, the story of Cinderella is the shoe that only fit one. This is a shoe that only fit you. And I'm getting good spoons everywhere. Cinderella, you are the Cinderella. You are the one that can make this change in the world. You are the one that make a mark. Like Cinderella is the only one person in the whole freaking planet that fit that shoe. That shoe. Okay, sorry, I'm pronouncing really bad. Shoe. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. You know what I mean, no? The shoe of Cinderella. <laughs> you are the only one. You are the Cinderella of this. You are the Cinderella. Oh my goodness me. What are you creating? I don't know. It's amazing. Last one, gentleness. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, for me, you are Cinderella. <laughs> no, this is, a, for me, a, it's gentle. You're very gentle. Your heart is pure. I mean, like two two times, Arc no, three times for me, Archangel Raphael here. Three times. Gentleness is a leadership. Leadership, but with love. Okay, this is a, a, the, this, the, um, the deers uh, or the stag. Is an animal of leadership in my books. The moon is the manifestation. Just be gentle. You're in a moment of absorbing so much information. This is this is the source of information. It's kind of freaking uh, um, at a speed with you. High, high speed. Because you're doing this right now. Okay, you're going to be a leader. I'm, I'm telling you, you're going to make a mark. You are the Cinderella of this, this plan. Okay? 
And I'm going to do something crazy today. Surprise, surprise. Okay? I bought this book. The Color of Time. Okay? By Don Jones and Marina Amaral. A New History of the World, 1850 to 1960s. Okay. And what I want you to do with this book is the following. What is this? Okay. These are tools to unlock intuition. Okay. These are tools to unlock intuition. But the tools can be any tool. Okay. Intuition is over all the time present. How we unlock the intuition is different ways. You know, it could be the Oracle card. It could be a book. It could be a movie. It could be anything. It could be a mark in the sky. It could be anything. So what I want you to do with this book, which I haven't checked all of the, obviously I haven't read it yet. I bought it like a, one day ago, two days ago, is to showcase that if I open any page in this book, and I hope it works, <laughs> it's going to be connected with this reading. Let's try. I don't know what you will think, but I'm thinking. The right of X print. Look at this. I, I, some of you are from uh, Russia. I'm getting the vibes of Russia with this one. Wow, Igor, Igor Stravinsky, 1913. Yeah, this is this is. Well, it says Paris. Okay. Ooh, French. Okay. It, the Rite of the Spring was a performance done in the Champs Elysee. The music was Igor Stravinsky, the choreographer by the greater dancer Vaslav Nijinsky. That's Russian, yes. And the ballet of the Russian, yes. This is Russian in, friend, in France. The combined work was influenced by traditional Russian folk ritual and folk music. Yet, as the costumes pictured here suggests, is also of the modernist avant garde. The premiere was a debacle, as our perplexed audience began first to loathe, then to jeer, and finally to throw things at the orchestra. The house lights were turned on in an effort to dampen process, and the performance was completed. But press reports were damning. The Russians, who are not entirely acquainted with the manners and customs of the countries they visit, did not know that the French people protested readily enough when the last degree of stupidity was reached, concluded Le Figaro. This said the Rite of Spring was performed for another week and transferred to London for a short run, after which it was shelved for many years and only revived with the new choreography Ninjiski Step were lost and only rediscoveries in the 1980s. <laughs> this is all we get after 100 rehearsals and one year of hard work. I sprang a surprise on Paris and Paris was this concert. Wow, look at that. Yes, it, this is exactly what, you know, I mean, this is connected to this. This is gorgeous, no? Okay, Russia and Paris may be connected to you, but this is about this. It takes hard work. Like this cup, this, 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 what I was saying before. It takes hard work. Some people will recheck your papers. Some people will not see what you are presenting as, you know, as a therapy, as a community therapy, whatever you're presenting. Some people will reject it. You're going to travel the world with this. You're going to make a mark in the world. We're talking about London. We're talking about Paris. We're talking about Russia. Three different, completely different cultures. You're going to make a mark. But sometimes, you know, it will take time. The first, the first reaction may not be the right, the, the, the embracing reaction. But keep it going. Your soul is telling you, you know, at the end, you know, in the 19, uh, it says the 1980s, it was revived. You're going to revive something. Maybe it was not accepted before also. And now you're going to come with a new, fresh idea about that, that it will make sense for all. Wow. I don't know. I love that. <laughs> okay, I think that's interesting. Okay, let's test. Let me know in the comments. <laughs> Thank you so much for letting me read for you. And if you enjoy the reading and if you feel it connect, please support the channel. Support the mission of igniting your talent, more talent, to ignite the world. Okay? Anyway, donate. Or in my links, you find everything. My shop, I have this new ring. This new... Um, this is... Uh, 
lapis lazuli, and this is uh, obviously amethyst. Uh, you have a lot of things in my shop, uh, but also you can say thank, donations, patron. If you're a patron, thank you so much. Uh, hit the notification bell, share, share, share. Um, and I hope this... Uh, you know, this has, uh, you know, you're very connected with your soul. But I hope they have ignited you more. Thank you so much for what you do. And please keep me posted. Okay? I want to support you. I want to support all of my talented souls. <laughs> In any way that I can, of course. This is one. Namaste. Till the next time. Thank you so much. Cinderella. Remember, Cinderella. Hello, talented souls. If you have chosen this gorgeous tarot deck, oh my God, so gorgeous. And this is reading. Option number two, this is your reading. Wow, this is beautiful. If you skip the intro, hi, I'm Luna, and I focus on igniting your talent for you to ignite the world. It means do what you love. And today we have the topic, what is your soul highest wishes for you right now let's see i love it thank you angel the person that suggested the topic amazing okay this is this is advice for the n and this is what your soul uh highest wishes for you is right now i love it Okay, this is an angel tarot deck, but I pick up only one card randomly. Okay, the king of swords. Oh, interesting. Number 11, look at that. 11, master number. Mm. <laughs> your soul wants you to master your mind. Your soul wants you to master your mind. Look, follow your passion, which is the fire here, and then... You know, use your mind, use both. This is 11, this is justice card, the Kinosaur air sign. If you're not an air sign, your north north is in air. Check. Uh, or you have some placement of air, you know, uh, because of the Kinosaur. Kinosaur is a master, it's like the top of the top of the of the chain, no? The exalted goal. And what I love about this is he follows the heart. And the mind, the heart and the mind, victory, grant a victory and protection from lightning. Oh, wow. Your, your soul highest wishes is for you to follow your passion because your mind will help. <laughs> like your mind and your, and your heart are fully, fully connected right now. Okay, all are about to be connected in a, an amazing way, in a keen way, in a way that is super sharp, super determined, and super purposeful. You see what I mean? There is nothing that is stop a king of swords, and in this case, a king of swords with a victory, with a victory. Um, also, I'm thinking that in this action, which also is talking here about uh, protection for lighting, lighting means like uh, from a sudden change. 11 is justice so and also it's a master number you're mastering something you're mastering your um you're mastering a project you're mastering a task you're mastering something that will put you in a very different position for the rest of your lifetime right now eh? oh justice twice don't <gasps> my goodness me yes your career bring Fairness and protection to others who need your help. Look at this. Protection from lightning. Lightning is a, a sudden change. And your career brings fairness and protection to others who need your help. And this is wearing like a, she has a sword. Like the kinos, uh, the kinosaurs. A light source. Because this source is made of light. You know what I mean? And protection from lightning. And light is, uh, for me, light is also fire, no? The passion. Shasta is twice. Shasta is the card 11 in the tarot. This is the card 11, but it's king of source. 
unbelievable. Listen, just it to your talent, just it to your purpose. I mean, this is a moment of fulfillment of your purpose. Wow, that dog is, is shouting because this is the, you know, this is important. This is a moment of fulfillment of your purpose. Just it to all the effort, etc., etc. And this is a moment where your heart and your mind connect in a way that is unbelievable. And then your career, you know, obviously, because it says here, you, you will help others. Um, yeah, you're reaching a moment where you are at the best. And that what means is that if you are at the best, you automatically are a source of light and a source of help for others. Because that's how it works, you know? When we are at our best, meaning following what we love, doing what we uh, what we like, uh, using our mind, our knowledge, etc., uh, towards something that is very purposeful, we're automatically helping a lot of people. We, I mean, obviously, we, we complete our, our task, basically, our 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 let's say mission but at the same time we are unlocking others missions that's how we work one person is ignited millions are ignited you see what i mean intention wow another master number two numbers only here and it's the 11 and 22 this is the year this is a year where your intention is is <laughs> is, uh, is is let's say is going to show Okay, your intention is going to manifest. That's the main thing. This is an egg ready to crack. 22 for me is a maestro. It's a master number. This is your intuition. You know, this is a this is a plant. This is a plant that it comes in a spring in the fields, especially in England. We have a lot of this. Uh, we call it the wish. Oh, my God. We call it the wish. Um, I don't remember the name, but apparently when you have, when you find one of those, you set your intention and you blow to the wind and this spread all over the wind and travels, it travels, it travels. Okay. Be clear. You are because you are a kinosaur. This is a combination. This is a perfect combination between the mind and the heart. They're going to reach kind of, you know, a moment of integration in this egg. And they're going to be spread all over the world with this justice card. Spread, 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 reaching, reaching, reaching. Helping others, igniting others. It's kind of similar to my purpose. You have the same purpose. To help others, to for others to help. I mean, it's like you are, your intention is, is doubling. Because 11 plus 11 is 22. Your intention, your purpose because you have reached the mastering of your purpose, it's going to be double, mean duplicated, expanded into others. It's like you carrying the flame, like in a in a in a Olympic game. You carry the flame, it's passing over, passing over, passing over to here. It reach the best athlete, the one that was selected to put that torch into the podium when the Olympics games start. That's you. You're going to be the leader here. But this is a torch that you're going to pass on, pass on, pass on, multiply, multiply, multiply. It's like your purpose is going to multiply. This is a very symbolic, abstract way of explaining what your soul wish for you. Okay? I cannot put the specifics because it's more like it's bigger than a specifics. Wow. My God. Outdoors. Archangel Shofiel, go outside, get some fresh air and connect with nature to relieve stress and gain new creative ideas. Yes, this is literally, literally telling you that this mind that is going to be sharpener like a, a kinosaurus works best when it's connected to nature. I think really, really better when I'm in nature. I think far more better when I'm in nature than when I'm surrounded by buildings, cars, and uh, the city. And if you don't have, you know, a great uh, space outdoors, because I know a lot of you live in a city, okay? Um, go to a garden, a garden. 
Uh, every city has a, uh, a park. Every city has a park. Go to a park. Okay? The idea will come very sharp. Wow. This is doubling. 11 to 22. This is the year, though. Mm? 11. Some of you has 11 in your chart or 11 in your uh, in the full number, your birth. You know, when you do... When you add up your date of birth, your month, and the year, it comes to 11, which is 2, which is 2, 2, 2. This is the year for you. Eh? I mean, this is clearly the year for you. But sometimes some of you have a life path 11, eh? because we have 11 and 11 here. Justice is 11. Yeah, sign and reminders. Yes, yes, yes. You have trust the signs. You have trust any synchronicity. You understand the language, this is a rainbow. You understand the language of the universe. As I said, you're mastering the connection between your heart, your fire, and your mind, your intention, your consciousness. So nothing has stopped a kind of source. Your intention is doubling this year, okay? It's reaping, it's reaching it's expanding to a size that you know that is uh, that is very big because this one here uh, is the wall. Is the wall represented by a feather? It's like you are the feather, no? Again, the air sign. You are the air sign or the air mission. I don't know. Uh, something may be connected with communication in your case. Eh? Something connected with communication, a, a, a mission that includes communication. A mission that includes transforming the world, transforming things. Um, a, a mission that includes a partnership in some cases, because I see two birds here. Some of you are doing this in partnership. You have trust every single sign. And what happens is that you are creating rainbow around Earth. You are creating a big change that is going to multiply. Uh, uh, it's it it going to double the size. Okay, and if you have uh, any blockage, your soul is saying, if you have any blockage about ideas or intention or you need to reconnect with your intention, go outdoors. This is outdoors, this is outdoors. This is the wish you fulfill from my point of view. The eggs planted everywhere that you go. It's expansion. It's having eggs everywhere, you know, like putting your seeds everywhere and that become all these things that blow Okay, it's like multiplying. It's like these are planting seeds everywhere. Your purpose is multiplying. And by that, you bring justice to the world, justice to, I mean, you you are mastering this, but you bring justice to the world, you help others, okay? It's like my mission, no? Ignite the talent, ignite the world. Whatever is your mission is about that. Is I, I work with you and you work with millions. You see what I mean? The excited God. Yeah, you are in God energy. You are in God energy any, anyway. You're in God energy. And uh, this is the perfect combination between passion and mind. Okay? So the logic. The logic about exactly what you need to do to get into this. Okay? Very spiritual connected, of course. Three of one. Look at the fire. Yeah? <laughs> yeah you're igniting the world I'm telling you there is something about fire as well because we have fire and air the two and here is air fire and air king of cups wow yeah this is you fire and air well this is the king of cups water but you know what I mean it's like well what <laughs> no I'm not I'm joking. I mean, I'm not going to complicate this. The point is you offer your heart, you offer your passion, and then your mind. Two kings. This is an action card. The kings represent the masculine side of us. This is you taking action on your dreams, on your heart, your third eye. This is you taking action on what is igniting you. And this guy looked like a doctor. For me, why I'm coming with this idea? This is like out of the blue. This guy, for me, has an stereoscope, stereo, a stereoscope in his uh, in his neck. He's he looked like a doctor for me. Some of you are doctors. 
Wow, honors. King, King. Master, total master, as I'm telling you. You offering your knowledge and your heart. You're not alone. Wow, this is an extra card in this tarot deck. You're not alone. Oh, no, baby. No, 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 no. No, you know this. You know this. This is about the multiplication. This is about the multiplication. Look, you're going to reach the baby, the kid, the mom, the dad, the family, the society, etc., etc. You're going to double the ribs of your uh, work. It's going to reach more people. Imagine that if you kind of find out, if we go in the direction of the doctors, you kind of, uh, or nurse, you kind of find a way of, imagine, uh, helping um, helping a specific uh, a cure or a way of treating something particular. Some of you will be this case. Eh? You know how to treat, uh, well, now I remind this guy that's uh, uh, very famous in Argentina, that uh, René Favaloro, that was someone that uh, find a cure for, um, created a very good technique for bypass, okay, for the heart. Maybe some of you work with the heart as a... Hmm? I'm, I'm getting that. Okay. Page of one. <laughs> oh, my God. This is you going on holidays after, you know, like, hey, now I can chill. I make it happen. I feel, you know, what is the next? <laughs> Some of you, this is your family also. Some of you, let, let me tell you, I get your feeling with this car. One is like you go on holiday because, oh, my God, you can relax now. Okay. That's number one. And you feel like a kid again, no? So, hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And for others, this is you enjoying, also because you're not alone in a safe family, some of you finally having more time to spend with the family. So your your soul wa want, wish for you, for you to spend more time with your family. Because this mission here, two kings here, it requires a lot of action. I'm sure some of you have spent a lot of time outside or disconnected from the family, etc. So this is about coming home. That's what I'm getting. And some others, you know, feeling really good about yourself, of course. Knight of Swords. Wow. Yeah, people following you. The Knight, the Page. Well, this is fire and this is air. They, they, people will follow you, okay? People will follow you. It's like you, this is a dragon. This is about transformation. You're going to transform something and everyone will follow you. That's what I'm getting. Everyone, because the intention is here and this is a dragon flying and this is about flying, your intention will reach countries, different countries, different, it will travel the world because this is a dragon that it reminds me, um, it reminds me of the Janiris with her dragons in the Game of Thrones, you know, she was traveling all the time with the dragons, that kind of thing, your, your, your leadership, your invention, your invention, listen, listen to this word, invention, is going to travel the world. And the last one, two of cups, of course, as I said, some of you are going to do this with someone else. Some of you are going to do this with someone else. And this is two people, the king of swords and the king of cups, two of cups and the two birds here, which for me is a couple. Yeah. You with a water sign. Some of you, this is a general reading, so take what resonates. It's very difficult to, uh, uh, it's, it's many messages, you know what I mean? So it's like uh, the doctor won't apply to everyone, you know what I mean? The two of cups won't apply to everyone. But this is a confirmation, and we have two kings here. So this is a confirmation some of you are doing this with someone else, okay? Uh, you, you, and this person both are going to put the action, okay? And if this is not a couple, this is about finding a couple <laughs> as well. This is about finding a perfect match when you conquer this. You know what I mean? It's like... Your news are going to travel all the world, you know, and then people would like to connect with you. This is about finding someone, honestly, because the two words here for me is finding someone, okay? And if not, this is your partner working together on the same mission because we have 22 as well, which is partnership, twice 11, two people with 11 life paths. Hmm? Well, many scenarios. 
The main thing is this. You are mastering your passion, your mind. You are being a leader because for me, this is someone carrying the, the, the Olympic game flame till the end. This is your emotional support, which is this person. Oh, this is you offering your heart in everything that you do. It's paying off. You're going to help. You're not alone. You're going to help a lot of people. A lot of people will want to, will benefit from this. This is families benefiting from this. This is people, tra your, your news traveling the world. This remind me like in the olden times when uh, there was someone, you know, sending uh, uh, in the kingdoms, no? They were sending messages with uh, messengers, no? So they were traveling like days and days and days in the horses, you know, sending the message from the king, no? That remind me. Your message is going to reach more people overseas because this this is going to be planted, double. It's like your mission being match or being uh, igniting the double that you thought okay and you in that process finding someone that feels and wants the same and if you don't if you have someone already that person is totally with you and if you don't have it um this is the perfect partner okay you will meet amazing people by doing this okay two final uh, no, final message from these cars whoa you got it. Of course. Of course you got it. This is like uh, your soul telling you, you got this. Okay? Your soul is very proud of you. <laughs> I'm as simple as that. Bloom. Oh, yes. You're going to bloom. You're going to... I mean, this is the moment. This is a moment of success. This year, you are going to be mega successful in your purpose, in your soul mission, in your actions. Hmm? Fidelity. Oh my God, yes. A lot of you are with someone doing this. Clear. Fidelity. This reminds me like, uh, of course, this is fidelity. This is someone that is totally with you on this, offering your heart, offering the support. This is two cup you celebrate in the two birds. For me, it's the two cup. Some of you having family, you know, with this person. More time with the family, as I said before, but also feeling like renew, feeling like uh, a child again. I don't know. It's like, oh, either you've met this person through your mission or either this person is with you supporting your mission. You see what I mean? Both way. And today I have a special thing to do. I don't know. I wanted to do it. And yes, I'm going to put a message from a book. And let's see if it is connect. It's a book that I bought very recently. It's The Color of Time. I bought in a charity shop. Dan Jones and Marina Maral. A New Story of the World, 1850-1960s. And I think that we have a final message here. Let's hope. Okay, take it if resonate. If not, don't take it. Ooh, Rockefeller! <gasps> wow, Rockefeller, Rockefeller, the Eiffel Tower. Oh, he! Oh my God, French again. The previous one was French as well. <laughs> oh wow, John Rockefeller. You the king. You are the king. You are the king. You have you have king quality, eh? I ought to be jealous of the tower. It's much more famous than I am. People seem to think it is my only work. <laughs> okay. No, no, but this is another. This is why we have Rockefeller and the Eiffel Tower. I'm, I'm catching on the Eiffel Tower. Okay, look at this. <gasps> wow. A lot of, uh, some of you are French. If you're French, this is a confirmation. If not, don't worry. Look at it. Look when I started. It started on the 14th of Ju June, 1888. By March 1889, it was finished. Look at that. Let me tell you something. 12, 12th of March is insignificant. 89th also seems significant. But we have Rockefeller and the Eiffel Tower. Why we have... Okay, the advancement in transport and technology that transformed the world, I'm telling you, your work, your work is going to travel the world. Few were so important as oil. Vast profits were available to those who could master the oil business and associated industries, most notably the railroads. That is how John Rockefeller became the richest man in modern history. You're going to be rich. That's guarantee. You're king, you have king, two kings. Rockefeller Organization, Standard Oil, da, da, da. Okay, da. Rockefeller personal fortune was estimated on $1,900 million. Dollars. Oh my God! This compared historically to the to the stupendous riches of King Croesus, 
of Asian Libya, or Jacob Fugger, and Rockefeller was widely loathed for his wealth. Yet, he gave much of his money away, funding philanthropy causes that included, listen to this, biomedical research, public health and education. I'm telling you, your mission is connecting to something public health. You know, the doctor, the doctor here. I get a buy. I mean, some of you, I get good spoon. When I get good spoon, I get crazy. And then this is one message. And the other message is the Eiffel Tower. Okay. My goodness me. You're a king. You're a king. And also you're going to help, as I said, bring justice to help others in something that I guess, and, and correct me if I'm wrong, but I have a feeling that it's connected to coronavirus in some of you, some of you. Virus, you know, biomedical research. Ooh. Okay. Okay. This is what I'm trying to tell. In the in the Tower Eiffel, the message that I'm getting is the 12th of March is significant, which is coming in one month, and 89. 88 as well, of course, 88 and 89. And then what I'm getting is, I ought to be jealous of the Tower. It is much more famous than I am. People seem to think it is my only work. This is what is going to happen. Your work is going to be, travel the world, is going to be very famous, okay? And it will over, like, it will kind of uh, uh, go beyond you. You know what I mean? It's like a Torre Eiffel. This guy is like telling this guy, sorry. It's, oh, I forgot his name. <laughs> I already forgot his name. Not Rockefeller, the other guy. Um, the guy that created Torre Eiffel. The, the Torre Eiffel is beyond him. We know the Torre Eiffel, but we don't know him that much. You see what I mean? So your work is going to bring so much, uh, uh, let's say, well-being to others that is beyond your name. But that, that doesn't matter to you because you're doing this for the humanity. You're doing this for others, okay? And I love that. I love that. It's the thing is, your mind is amazing. Your passion, your, your leadership is freaking amazing, okay? And... Um, your soul wish, <laughs> your soul wish is, hey, I'm going to relax in this beach because you are doing an amazing work. And I'm getting a feather here that I cannot keep looking at it. This is you. You fly like a feather. I mean, you're light as a feather, meaning that you are like, you don't worry. You just... You just flow with your mission. You know what I mean? That's why it's going to double. Because there is no path of resistance in your mission. There is no path of resistance. That's why people will follow. And two of cups, this is this is a couple, eh? And a lot of you. And fidelity, this is very loyal to you. And yeah, you were born a king. I mean, I'm telling you. <laughs> wow. You're going to put a lot of money to help others. Wow. Again, the only advice, the only advice uh, your soul wishes is, uh, hey, you know, like, uh, I, I'm just applauding you. You know what I mean? It's like, thank you for following your gut, following your passion, do, using your mind. Your work is going to travel the world, uh, help a lot of people. Uh, it may be connected with, with medicine in some way, somehow. And uh, it may be connected with a partnership doing this together. It has a philanthropy, philanthropy uh, element. And uh, you got it. You're going to bloom. I mean, your soul is just this. Okay? That's it. I love it. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed the reading. Please, if you like the reading, subscribe. Subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Uh, thanks with heart. Uh, Etsy shop. All the links in the link tree uh, there. Donations, patrons, everything. If I ignited your talent today, help me to ignite others for you and others to ignite the world. This multiply, double. Namaste, till the next time. Thank you so much. Thank you. Hello, talented souls. If you have chosen pine number three and this beautiful angel, okay, and if you skip the intro, hi, I'm Luna. I focus on igniting your talent for you to ignite the world. Meaning, do what you love. And today is, what is your soul 
highest wishes for you right now. For the end, this is the main oracle cards, and this is your tarot deck, which is the Wisdom Secrets tarot deck. Okay, let's shuffle a little bit with you so we have it ready. I hope you're having a great day, great week, great life. Mm -hmm. And I think you like yellow. Some of you are here because you love yellow. And it's the first time you see this channel. Of course, not all of you, but some of you. Okay. <laughs> what catch your attention was the yellow. Eh? Tell me. <laughs> okay. So, what is your soul highest wishes for you right now? Oh, this is cute. Oh, some of you want to have a pet. <laughs> you understand animals and communicate with them intuitively. Trust your inner guidance as the animals are part of your life work. Oh, wow. Nature. You are my environmentalist. Eh? Some of you have a shelter for uh, animals. Eh? This is a, a tropical country. This reminds me of the Amazonas. Amazonas, uh, tropical, tropical. It could be any tropical country, but what it says there? What, what? Uh, okay, you you are definitely, uh, you can read animals. I mean, there are many, uh, I have seen the other day, a lot of, lately, a lot of um, uh, tarot readers doing this question, which is what your pet is trying to tell you, or something like that. If these tarot readers are doing these uh, this, um, readings, it's because people is asking for them. So, yeah, you are the one that is connected to animals. Uh, really, you, you read them. And I'm getting some of you, even you train horses, I'm getting. Some of you, you train horses. Like um, for jumping, for racing, etc. Um, I see, I, I don't know why I'm seeing a horse race, dog race as well. Uh, some of you have a, you know, you have a farm, of course. Some of you, any, any kind of thing like that, farms. Uh, uh, you work with animals as well, uh, bet, of course. Um, others just uh, environmental protection. Others is a zoo. You know, like definitely, I mean, I have never, I'm getting that I have new people here as well because I haven't seen this energy about the zoo or the, uh, well, I have seen the animal before, but not so strong. So, yeah. Welcome. If you're new, if you're not new, yes, this is your uh, your your soul wishes that uh, you can extend this work. Okay, they want you to expand because she has some uh, some uh, wind. So I'm getting the, they want to expand your work. How? Let's check. Wishing well. Oh, this came last time. Look at that. Yeah, make a wish. Make a wish. You're going to be help. Make a wish. 48. <laughs> Make a wish. 48, let me tell you, is the age, is your age or your mom's age in some cases? <laughs> because I also have, you know, well, we have all the spectrum, uh, you know, very young people and very, uh, very young people and also people, uh, you know, I'm close to you, so don't worry. <laughs> I'm not going to say. <laughs> Don't ask how old I am. <laughs> okay. Anyway, listen, you have a wishing well. Your soul is giving you a wishing well. Okay? Because you want to expand your work. So the wishing well is like, hey, I'm ready, waiting for you to make the wish. That's what your soul is, is wanting you to do. Make the wish. No. You have to say no to some. Wow. This is a very, a very strong card. No. Okay, if you feel you're not going to make it happen, they're saying you know you are going to make it happen. Yeah, that's why they put a wishing well. Wishing well is when you are desperate, you know. Wishing well, I mean, like this place, you know, this woman traveled the whole time, days and days to find this place where she put the coin, you know, like in a fountain to put the coin to ask for the wish. This is a mask, okay? This is a mask coming off. You don't believe too much in yourself, okay? This is telling you, yes, you have to believe in yourself. If you worry about it, no, don't worry about it. I'm getting like a sharp, no, 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 no. 
because you kind of, you know, are giving this to the universe, no? And they are asking you for taking a little bit more of action. Fly, search, travel, find the wishing well. Go for that place where the mask will come off and you will get all this golden helping you. You see what I mean? Do not procrastinate. No, no, uh, if no action, no action is wrong. You need to take action. That's what your soul wants. So your soul doesn't want you to get worried about it. Okay? But they are asking you to go that far land, to go that place where you are have the dreams. Maybe you have to go to a place to explore. Imagine. You want you train horses, I don't know, or you have a business around training horses, or you have a farm, you have some animals, da, 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 but you want to expand your business, okay? Uh, go out and find new places. This is literally what I'm getting with this car. Is uh, if the, if you wanted to stay where you are, the answer is no. You have to explore. That's coming clear as well. You have to explore. This is a tarot deck, angel tarot deck, and that I put it like. Um, only one card, okay? Five of Wands, yes. Five of Wands, yeah, you are afraid of the competition. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. Yeah, that was a... Sorry. Uh, 26. God listening in concealment. Politics and ambition wins judgment and protects all those who seek the truth. Yes, for you, listen, for you to expand this, it has not been easy. A lot of obstacles, 26 maybe is a significant number, as I said. Your mom is 48 and you're 26. I mean, this is very specific for some of you. And if that is the case, that's crazy, okay? Um, why? Because, I mean, your mom can have you when, you were, when she was 20. Mm? Okay. This is the thing. This is an eight. And this is an 11. Yeah. You have experienced some uh, uh, restrictions. Maybe not enough funding, not enough money, not enough, uh, you know, resources to make, to expand your mission. Okay. But this is telling you that you will get, you will win the judgment. You will, you, your, 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 your purpose, your truth, your purpose is very pure. So you will be protected. Okay? And if you worry, you are not going to get the wishing well, you know, like all the abundance that you seek because you seek for money. I'm thinking that you seek money, you seek funding. If you worry you're not going to get it, you're going to get it. The only way, the only advice your soul is telling you is that go travel. Don't stuck into where you are. Go and see other places. That's what I'm getting. Patient. Wow, yeah, it takes time. It takes time. Your dreams are blooming more rapidly than you realize. Still, they need nurturing and patience. Yes. And she's here, uh, you know, gardening, gardening the new place. You know what I mean? So, yes, I'm getting, I'm getting that your, uh, you, you just be patient. Okay. If you worry a mom and say, no, I'm not going to get it. Stop the worry. Your purpose is very pure. You're going to heal a lot of mother nature. Because animals are part of nature, okay? Uh, you have experienced uh, blocks, you know, with five of wands, but you will win this, okay? And the only ask from your soul is go, go, travel, go. Keep exploring, keep, you will find your wishes coming true, okay? It will take a little bit more patience, but you will find it. But it says more rapidly. 2022 is a dramatic uh, year for change. So I'm thinking this is going to happen right now. This year, I mean. And at the bottom, the nine of wands. Yeah, this is a still one more step to climb. You know what I mean? Nine of wands give you the idea of a still one more battle to go. Okay, you're going to get there. Okay. The chariot, yeah. You're going to get there. This is you leaving your place to explore where else you can expand your business. What else? Who else is interested to give you all this funding? Who else is interested to support your costs? This is you traveling 
for your dreams. It's going to happen fast, rapidly. This is a promise. You have been already patient. That's all I'm getting. Hmm? The wishing well is meant to be fun. If you worry that it's, no, 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 it's going to happen, stop it. Nine of Wands also give me an idea of planting a new post, a new new place. That's what I'm getting. Princess of Wands. Yes, this is about planting and this is about a new beginning. The, the Princess of Wands is like the page. Uh, pages are about new beginning and new offer. And this is something planted, you know, and growing. The same as this. They're growing. They're growing. Wow. Four of Pentacles. Yes, you will have enough. You will have safety, security. Four of Pentacles under the wishing well. The money will be enough. It will be safe to do this investment. It will be safe to put the money in this new place. It will be safe to, you know, to plant seeds some, somewhere else. Well, we talk about animals. It could be nature as well. It could be farming. But I'm getting a strong feeling with animals here. Mm? But it could be nature. Oh, yes. King of Pentacles. This is the offer. This is this is someone looking at your work, okay, and literally telling you, hey, I'm going to invest in you. Also, I'm getting that you will become a king of pentacles. King of pentacles is also a very earth sign. There's a lot of earth here. Uh, earth sign um, uh, is you uh, becoming very successful in this, you know? The horses, <laughs> the horses. Some of you work with horses, eh? You train them for races. Yeah. That's very specific, but it, it will it will sink in some of you. Okay, this is an offer. This is uh, you also maybe, if you are horse, horse uh, racing or horse riding, you are going to be famous with your horse, some of you. But you will go different places. Maybe you breed horses and then one of them is going to be mega successful. Like rewarded, recognized, you know what I mean? It's like one of your horses is going to be very famous. Wow, this is very specific. And for others, you know, it's about an offer, you know, to support this, to support change, a lot of money, and you becoming this. This new endeavor that you're going to find, you're going to do, your soul is telling you, just you will find it if you go out of your comfort zone. If you go out and you explore a little bit more. If you procrastinate, no. If you worry, no. Please do not worry. You have already passion. Now it's time for a speed. It's time to move. It's time to plan these, these things somewhere else. It's time to understand that you are safe with what you have because the offer is coming. I love it. Six of all, yeah. Moving into better places. Better place. Yeah, the patient, the, the patient is over. I mean, like, the, the wait is over. You see what I mean? The wait is over. This is going to happen fast. Okay. Cleanse and beautify. Oh, look at this. Cleanse and purify. Eucalyptus. Oh, I love the smell of eucalyptus. Eucalyptus, listen, cleanse and purify. Your worries, I'm getting. If you're getting worried for some reason, I'm thinking that, uh, uh, you know, like uh, boil some water with eucalyptus, it will help to feel better. I don't know. This is very specific, but to be honest, I'm getting that uh, you will find, again, you, if you feel like you are a little bit worried about what I'll do next, etc., uh, you need to um, clean your mind. Okay, that's number one. But the other thing that I'm getting is your purpose is pure. Always remember that. Your purpose is pure. Sorry, that's the dog. Trust life. Yes, trust life. Trust life. The wishing well. You will find this wishing well. You will find this abundance. Eh? Trust life. And the last one is bravery. Oh, wow. Yes. Yes. This is you. You have been brave. I mean, you will do a brave action, you know, that will take you to this wishing well. You will do that final step. She's a, key, she's a queen. This is a king. Okay. This is you winning. You being successful in a different place because the, the chariot is traveling 
The Princess of Wands is a new beginning. This is about having enough. This is about getting an offer or you becoming very successful. This is about the patient is over. This is about the, you know, a very well established, you know, um, a, a business somewhere else. Okay. And five of ones, it was all the people that, you know, you have to, you know, justice, justice, your truth. All the, I mean, it's not easy, no? It's not easy to be successful. It's not easy. Okay. It takes time. But the time is over. The wait is over. And you have trust. You have your uh, intention has always been clear and you have been very brave. You have put the action. I'm sorry if I said that you didn't put the action because this one is telling me that you put the action and the patient is over, you know? <laughs> I mean, like the 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 wait, you, you, you're not waiting. You just walk towards this. And this reading has been interesting because I have put one message. I mean, I bought this book, The Color of Time, okay? A New History of the World. 1850 to 1960, Don Jones and Marina Maral. And what I wanted to do is a, a show, showcase that there are messages everywhere, okay? So intuition and messages, and you, you can do this for yourself. You can find messages everywhere. These are cars, you know, but these could be cars as well. If I pick up some of these paintings and I put the content that I say, I can make a card about that. So messages come in very different forms. It can come in a book too. So for you, this is the final message. And let's see if it connects. Ooh, women at war. Thank you. Look at this. What pop is here? Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Your soul is thanking you for following what you love. If the women in factories stop work for 20 minutes, the allies will lose the war. Oh, wow. These were, these were women working in, in, the, in a war zone. Wow to help all the ones that went to the to the war. Look at I me, mean, these women were creating tools for them. The giant battleship of the Great War were the product of industrial economies bent towards the purpose of war. And since the war moved millions of working age men out of the workplace and into the fighting line, women took a new traditionally male jobs. This is you, no? I mean, if you're a woman, this is you becoming a king. And I mean, like your own business, you know what I mean? You're becoming a really the bread maker. Do you see what I mean? This woman, <clears throat> okay, one second. Uh, manufacturing weapons, ammunition, ship planes, train, working with farm, farm, delivering mail, working as special police officers, manning telephones, switch car, teaching school children, and filling office based cleric roles. This woman, photographed in 1916, are working. In the munition factories, in the headquarters, the world's large, large, biggest arms manufacturer, Aston, uh, uh, is in the United States. Maybe that connects. Okay. And he said, in Russia, several women's battalions were formed towards the end of the war following Tsar abdication, one of the most prominent being the first Russian women battalion of death, commanded by the peasant soldier, Maria. Ooh, women's warriors. Okay, I'm telling you, you're brave, you're brave, you're brave. Listen, these are women that they step up and they leave the comfort zone. These are women that and, and under the danger, under the circumstances, the difficult circumstances of the five of ones, they step up and they keep going, okay? Do never think that you have not done enough. You have done everything that you can and you're doing everything that you can. The sucks. The patient will pay off. The success will come. The only thing that your soul is telling you is that go out. The wishing well is no near you. It's outside you. Okay? You will find the money. You will become rich by doing this. It is connected with farming. It is connected with horses. It is connected with a business connected to that. And you trust the life. Your intentions are pure. And you're just a good soul doing what you love. That's what I like about you. Brave, like this woman. Okay? Wow. I love it. Thank you so much for letting me read for you. I wish you all the best. If you enjoy the reading, please help me to, to subscribe. You know, check on my LinkedIn tree. And there you have my Etsy shop where you can find the Jolie uh, readings or, you know, donations. Um, anything. Become a patron if you like. Whatever you think you can help is amazing. 
Uh, not only for me, because our missions connect. If I ignite your talent, you will ignite the world. Namaste. See you the next time. Thank you so much. Bye bye. Hello, talented souls. If you have chosen pile number four and this beautiful rosy green, okay, this is gorgeous. This is your reading. Okay, this has been super interesting. Okay, I just love it. This is message for the end. And this is, this is your tarot deck, of course. And this is what your soul, what is your soul highest wishes for you right now? Let's shuffle a little bit. The tarot. I hope you're doing amazing. And if you skip the intro, hi, I'm Luna. And I focus on igniting your talent for you to ignite the world. Mean, do what you love. Always do what you love. I get some some uh, artists here. Again, an artist vibe with this one. Okay. Let's see. This is a tarot deck. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. This is a tarot deck uh, that, uh, you know, I pick up one card for each. I mean, I shuffle and I pick up one. But, but it's very difficult to use this one as a normal tarot deck because of the design. Okay, six of one, victory. God who took evil. This six of one is the best minor, well, one of the best minor, uh, minor arcana uh, cards. Look, 28, your age, your date of birth, 10, your life path, number one, uh, one, your um, date of birth as well. <laughs> who, God who took the evil, longevity, protects against infirmities. This is the, the angel is called Siha, say ya. Anyway, good fortune, success, your soul a wish for you the biggest success ever. Okay? Also, some of you born in 82. Your soul is wishing for you the biggest success ever. How? Let's find out. <gasps> wow, yes. Oh, wow. Because you dream big. You have dreamed big. So... Your wish is going to be granted with the six of one first and then the 21, which obviously means the world, which means a competition, which in this card is a field of dreams, mean the field of uh, of wishes, the field of desires. All this fate is helping you, is flourishing, is it's giving birth. All this X is going to, you know, be, how many X I have seen lately? Oh my God. Because X remind me Easter, okay? Easter time. Also number three, which is March. Um, 21st of March, a start of a spring, which is this time. Oh, wow. By a springtime, listen, this is going to be fast. By a springtime, um, you will be your wishes fulfilled. And there are some friends that are helping you uh, very much and that have been with you in all this journey, listening to all your stories about how you want to conquer, how, how you, what you want to achieve, etc., etc. There are two very big friends that, uh, for a lot of you, um, they have been very supporting during this uh, this accomplishment, and they will be with you there. Okay, speaker. Wow, I love this. Yes, this is my social media uh, tribe. Your life purpose involves your skills of oration. You are going to communicate. You're going to talk to the world. Wow. You're going to have an opportunity to literally to talk in front of the public. Or to present, let me, let me tell you what I'm thinking as well. You finishing your dissertation, some younger generation here. You finish your studies, literally presenting your thesis, presenting your work. PhD students as well, presenting your thesis, presenting your master. Uh, you will have a chance in a springtime to uh, communicate your work that is going to be really successful. Because this is, again, 21st of March, I start of the spring. I'm getting that. That's the time. 6 of 1 is success. Also, for a lot of you, it's um, a gig or a project where you have the chance to share your knowledge, like a TED Talk, 
uh, I mean, on the likes of Tech Talk or something like this, also the opportunity to be in front of, uh, in a company, in front of a lot of people, the opportunity to showcase your work, etc., etc. Yeah, I'm getting that and I'm also getting, uh, yeah. Uh, also, if you own a podcast, if you have a podcast and it's quite good, you will have someone coming into the podcast that it will be really good. It will kick off your channel. Imagine if you have a podcast, I don't know, and you invite, uh, this guy reminds me, I don't know why, uh, R Russell Brand, no? It will be mega successful. Someone is interested in being in your podcast that is famous. I'm getting that as well. <laughs> it's a lot of information. Regardless, success, success, success. Springtime. Creative writing. Oh, wow, yes. Obviously, if you have a podcast, if you write, I mean, if you present, present of course, a, a thesis, a PhD, a master, or even a, a, the bachelor degree, etc., you need to be very good at writing this, no? Of the first step is writing and then it's communicating. These are very connected. These are two are truly connected, two angels. Look at that, two different cars. Archangel Gabriel, which is the angel of the news. Make time to write down your thoughts in a journal or pen, an article, or book. Oh, wow. You, some of you are writing the book, L literally publishing the book in the springtime. Success. Yeah, this is being in a library presenting your book. Imagine. I know I have a lot of writers here. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is going to be very well received. Success. Okay. Maybe your story is about fairies. <laughs> you know, I don't know what it, I mean. Obviously, it's a general reading. I'm not going to go into detail, but regardless, writing and speaking is connected. Okay. So, um, to, to speak, you need to write. <laughs> okay. So like, uh, you need to write your ideas and then communicate now. So all very positive. If you launch a book, if you launch a podcast, someone is coming. If you finish your thesis, if you finish your education, if you're in a company, you need to talk about your work. Everything is being highlighted here as a success in a spring. Wow. <laughs> well, we're talking about your soul wishes. Your soul wishes for you, romance. Literally. To be connected to your twin flame. I'm getting twin flame. Although, obviously, I don't do uh, love readings uh, because I'm feeling your purpose. But, uh, hey, when you get out, um, oh, wow, you're calling your soulmate, eh? A lot of you are calling your soulmate with your work. Literally. This is, this is you calling your soulmate with your creativity, with your work. Someone that is very much the same as you. Yeah. All is connected. This happens a lot when people is very, uh, I mean, this is the key. When you have a lot of self-love, okay, the only thing that comes is love. When you have a lot of self-love, the only thing that comes is love. Okay. Because um, the people that, let's say, that... Uh, if you don't love yourself too much, okay, if you're in a moment because you don't feel confident, you don't feel good, etc., about you, okay, what you get is people that will reflect that, that you are not confident or comfortable with yourself. So the key to have the best partner is to feel good with yourself. <laughs> That's the key. Okay? That's what is going to happen. It's going to come. That's your soul wishes for you to find the perfect person for you. That's beautiful. That's very beautiful. And if you have the person, this will revive the connection. Literally, it's like a newer stage. Did I mix this already? I think so. Yeah. Okay. That's very beautiful. Very beautiful. Okay. What else? I'm going to put one more for you. Oh no, I feel like a six, six of one. We're going to put six. Okay. Oh, six of cups. That's why I wanted six. 
Look, we got I have another six. Six of cups soulmate. Wow. Yes. Your 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 soul wish the best soulmate is happening because you you really work in yourself. You really have a lot of self love. Four of cups. Yes, this is this is this is like um, <laughs> this is like the past, no? You working towards your dreams. You working towards your dreams. The four of cups is uh, not being complete. Like um, the four of cups is is you know it's like feeling like something else is out there. Okay, that's what took you here. You know, ten of pentacles. Yes, yeah, success. Yeah, that's how you felt. The good news is that you never stay in this feeling, you know. You 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 work towards your dreams, that's for sure. Ten of Pentacles, money, 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 signing contracts, abundance. This gig, this work is going to be mega, mega abundant. That's why then this person comes because you will feel so confident about you. You made it, basically. You made it. Four of Wands, yeah, I'm telling you. Four of Wands, the connection. I'm going to put it here. Wow, he is go he or she is going to sing a serenade for you, or maybe brighten a song for you. Because if you're connected to creative brighten, maybe this person is going to bright for you as well. It's, it's a soulmate. It's someone that shares same creativity as you. Okay, in a, maybe in a different expression, but it's creativity. Solar plexus chakra. Both are very connected with the solar plexus chakra. I'm loving this. Four of Wands. Look at this. Four of Cups to a Four of Wands. Amazing. Amazing. Five of Wands. Yes. This is about the struggles. The str when you have a struggles, you know, when you have a struggles, your friends help you. Okay? Your friends are really important in your life. Your friends are truly important in your life, are the ones that help you to, through the difficult times. Of course, to get to get there, you know, it's hard work. I mean, it's never easy. To get the perfect story to publish or to go out there to get the gig to get someone coming to your podcast is amazing i mean it takes a lot of effort but you never quit that's what i love about you the success is the ten of pentacles eight of ones yes fast 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 21st of march is next door i'm doing this reading on um i'm doing this reading on uh, which day is today is <laughs> the 5th of february okay 21st of March, eight of ones, fast, fast, fast. Again, the singing person, the singing person. Listen, some of you, this is very specific, will meet this person as uh, in this gig. This person and you speak the same language, you know? This is a boy and this is a girl. You and with the same instrument, you do the same. Okay, P possibly b both of you do exactly the same, or you use similar tools, writing and the voice. You see what I mean? Definitely, because this is mirror the eight of ones and the four of ones. This is about uh, ha something happening very fast. Well, I'm talking about March. It's very fast. And the five of pentacles. Yeah, you always have, uh, you know, this is these two fives, these two five here are talking about the struggles to get here, okay? Also, these two fives are talking about the 10. I said that some of you were born a 10, life past 10, 28, 82, 5, 5 is change. This is changing. This is changing very fast. So we have to say that this, this, these three here are the past, these three are the future. Because obviously the significator is the dreams, the six of wands, the speaker, the creative writing, and this. This is the past. You feel that you didn't have enough, that it, take, it took a lot of time, not enough, let's say, uh, remuneration or rewards or payments for your work, okay? Too much competition, feeling alone sometimes with the Four of Cups, okay? And what is happening here is that with the very fast, you are getting a success, an opportunity to publish 
that book to talk, etc., etc., all the things that I talk. And it's a success. And it's a success in two ways. It's a success for your creativity with the six of wands. And it's a success for your emotions with the six of cups. It brings both. It's going to be fast. It's going to create a connection for a lifetime. And it's going to bring the Ten of Pentacles, which is a happy family too. This is amazing. Congratulations. Congratulations. And thank you to your friends as well. Okay. These three are advice for the end. Letting go. Say goodbye. Ah, Say goodbye. <laughs> I mean, this is like, I mean, look at that. This is like goodbye to the tears. Goodbye to the tears, my dear talented soul. Goodbye. Goodbye. I'm saying goodbye. Resilience has paid off with the six of ones. Okay? you very resilient. Very resilient. And the last one, true love. Wow. I'm telling you. True love. Well, this is what your soul is the highest wish from your soul. Okay, I focus on igniting your talent. But if love comes, hey, I love love. Uh, it's all about love. Okay, <laughs> true love. Oh my God, you're getting your person, eh? Okay, guarantee through this work. That's beautiful. That's the connection. Okay, that's why you come to my reading and then you get a surprise. <laughs> okay, but listen, the good thing is that today I have an extra message. Okay, from a book. I don't know. I'm testing the intuition. So it's called The Color of Time, A New History of the World by Dan Jones and Marina Amaral. And what I'm doing is because they have photographies and stories about the history, obviously. So what I have done is I have opened anywhere and tried to find what is the connecting dot with this. Okay? That's the plan. At the end of the day, this is art. This is art as well. El pop. Oh, wow. What's this? Ooh, the Pope, no, no. He says, give me an army saying the rosary and I will conquer the world. Ooh. While archaeologists in Greece sought to dig up larger than life historical characters, so the faithful in Rome were laying one to rest. Giovanni Maria Mastai Ferretti, known in Rome as Pio Nono, and beyond as Pius uh, 11, look at that, oh, Pius 9, sorry, was the longest serving Pope in history after St. Peter. He was a political firebrand, a Pope in the medieval tradition rather than the modern. He cast himself, often with good reason, as a victim of Italian nationalist just as Giuseppe Garibaldi, who tried to conquer the papal state during his reign. Among the many positions, usually conservative and often controversial, taking uh, okay, 31 years he was on the throne. Okay, let me tell you. Pirus was the first pope to be photographed both in life and afterwards. Here he lies in his deathbed oy, after expiring, age 85, on a 7 of February of 1978, when his white stone tomb was opened on 4 of April 2000. Wow, 4th of April 2000. That day seems significant for me. 4th of April 2000. It's a 4-4 four, four and a 2. It's a 10. Yeah, there is something, I don't know. Ahead of his beatification, his corpse was found to be near perfectly preserved with a hint of a smile playing on his lips. That's amazing, no? Wow. There is a connection with the Italian for some of you. Okay, I'm getting that message. I'm getting connection with Italy, connection with religions. Religion. Religion seems to play a significant thing here. Okay, maybe you, you are very connected to, I mean, with the Catholic Church. Virgin Mary, he said here. Okay. Okay, no, I was trying to check on something. Okay, what I'm getting is that 
<laughs> you know what I'm getting? This is a little bit a uh, weird message. But I'm getting that your 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 book for a lot of you, your book or your writing or your um your ideas, okay? Your ideas. Number one, conquer the world here is is very impressive for me. It, it will, it will, uh, it will, I mean, <laughs> the, the, like, like an example, Harry Potter, okay? If Harry Potter, this woman, uh, sorry, I forgot her name, she's very famous, um, she will be remembered forever, afterlife, you know what I mean? Or the same as, uh, the same as the people that brought uh, Shakespeare, I don't know. Whatever you're going to do here, I'm thinking that it's going to be remembered afterlife, Look at that. That's the Ten of Pentacles. You know, it's like a legacy. It's a legacy. It's a legacy. Wow. Why I'm picking up a Pope that was photographer before and after that is crazy. Okay. Also, 4 of April seems significant. And uh, 2000 seems significant. And then, uh, again, 28, the 10. The 10, the 10, the, the, you know, something around the 10, the 6, of course. But the main thing here is you're writing with the 10 of pentacles here and also this this amazing couple that you're, you're going to find is going to uh, be recognized uh, after. Uh, it's a legacy. It will, it will be someone that your family is going to say, hey, my grandma brought that book or did that I speak or... Uh, created that podcast or write that blog or whatever. It's going to be um, a legacy. That's why it's the six of wands, the success. And that's why it's the war with the 21. You see what I mean? And that's why we have too many tens because it's a competition. Maybe some a task that you started when you, before you were born. I mean, like in your previous lifetime. That's what I'm trying to say. The fantastic, amazing thing is that this person connects with this purpose or with this, this creativity that you have, and you two are calling each other. And when you do this very fast, true love will appear in your life. It's amazing. I love it. Oh, my God. And it's 22 in my telephone. Oh, my God. I wish you all the best. This is your year. Congratulations. Tell me what you have created and tell me. Share, share, share. Thank you so much. And if you want to support my channel, please, if you like this, consider subscribing, like, share, the thanks, the donations, the, the patron, my shop, anything that you think that can support, uh, you know, my mission, which is igniting your talent for you to ignite the world. Thank you so much. Till the next time. Thank you. Namaste.